Hi, this is Joe Bullen, and with this tutorial, we're going to take a look at creating a simple, plain text editor. Many of you have used Microsoft's Notepad. Well, we're going to create a program that has very much the same kind of functionality that Microsoft's Notepad has. The difference is we'll learn how to use those controls that we see in Microsoft Notepad and how to add special parts to it that are unique to our own design. But let's get started. Let's get an idea of what our program is going to look like when we get finished. So let's switch over to the program that I've created called Text Editor. The Text Editor looks just like Notepad in many respects. In fact, I used it somewhat as a model to design my own. And we can go out and we have our menu strip at the top where we can click on and select different things from the menu strip. Very much like uh, we would have with a normal program uh, that might be written by a professional company. And here we see the about uh, box coming up with the information about what it's, uh, the program is about. And we can bring up a file. I can even click on the tool strip as well. Bring up and I'll have a selection of something I might want to go to. And I can bring up uh, a um, text. And uh, I can change the font if I'd like for my text on it. So I can come up to Format, go to Font Dialog. And in the Font Dialog area, I can change it. Maybe I want to have an 18 point and go Navy on the color on that. And apply it. And we'll see that I've got uh, a nice thing. Also, I have the ability to do uh, copy and paste and also find and replace. So I have the find dialog box comes up. I can find something, for example, good men. Do a quick search and I find good men. So there are nice applications uh, where we can learn how to find things in a text box uh, that's good for other applications that we might be creating. So this application gives us an idea of how to do uh, many things. And one of the exciting things is we can also learn how to print with this particular one. So I'm going to hit the print preview. And you will see that in the print preview area, we're printing the text that we have. And we're putting the title on the top line and as well as the page number. Now if I change the font, for example, let's make this really large. I'll go up font format and go to a larger font. Let's make it 36 point, which is about a half an inch on that. And you'll see how large it now has become. And if I go to uh, file print preview, we also see that it is adjusted accordingly uh, with the same font that I've picked. So this is a nice uh, program, very simple to do. Uh, that can be done uh, with understanding Visual Basic. And I'm going to take you through uh, the process to actually create that program. And what I'd like you to do is to stop your video um, and take a look at um, the documentation I have on the screen. And you can write down these locations so that you can find the code that I'll be creating as well as see the image and the design settings that I have for this one. Now the de design settings and the code are going to be out at Pastebin. And you see those two under the designs, uh, time settings, and the visualbasic.net code locations. Also I have a print screen of the uh, main screen out at Imgur and the videos of course will be out at YouTube for you to watch. Uh, so you can take this, uh, these uh, links go out as we go through the video series and pull in the code if you get lost or if you want to see more detailed information. Uh, but I'm going to do a very slow process of teaching you this particular application so that you can learn how to start from scratch, create a project, create a basic main form form, uh, then add some of the controls like the menu strip, the tool strip, and the text box, how to set the properties 
of these different controls, and then how to code the events behind the controls, and finally to do the things like opening a file, saving a file, changing a font, uh, going out and doing printing. And printing itself is a pretty uh, large section of this series because it requires a little bit more code and logic to it. I'll be showing you all that code and helping you understand what we're trying to do with that code. And the one thing nice about this particular project is why you are doing something you really have with Notepad. It gives you a chance to understand how to use these different concepts of opening a file, closing a file, um, and processing a file, um, and working with the controls so that when you go to other applications that you're creating, you'll have a good understanding of how to do that. So this gives you a way to learn with something you're comfortable with, like Microsoft's Notepad, but gives you the ability to go beyond that and understand components that you'll use in other Visual Basic projects. So I invite you to follow through the series, watch me as I create the text editor, and go out to Pastebin and bring in the code and take a look at it, study it, and I think after doing the series, you'll have a better understanding of how to manipulate and create a Windows Form project. So take care. Let's get our hands dirty in the code. Come back and see the next video in the series and follow it through. And if you like this particular video series, put a thumbs up or a check next to it at YouTube and let, give me your feedback. I appreciate it. Take care.